Okay, I uh, ran out of video on my camera. I used it all up till I upload them. So, uh, and I never use this video on my tablet, so I'm not even sure if I'm recording. I might just be being retarded, actually. But, um, I'm doing something that I've never done in Gettysburg before, and it's awesome. I did the whole Confederate walk from the Emmitsburg Pike up to Little Brown Top and Devil's Den. Hood's Texas Division, Longstreet's Cavalry. Um, they were fighting against New York and Jersey. And it's a wood walk. And I think I started off with the Troxel Farm um, to, if I remember my history correctly. So I forgot to mention the New Jersey guys in the Gettysburg Cemetery. But anyways, um, oh, in Maine. But um, if I remember my uh, history correctly, the peach orchard was to the right and the wheat field was beyond that. But anyways, this started off as a horse trail, which I know because there was horse poop all along the way. And then it was a hiking trail. And it's quite a hike, actually, and it's beautiful. And there's all kind of buckeyes and chestnuts, so, and acorns. So there's all kind of squirrels making all kind of creepy little noises. And there's all kind of bird song. And this is just, wow. This is what I love the most. I think this is recording. I think. You know, I'm going to go to the Eisenhower Ranch next. So th then I'll have done everything pretty much besides mini golfing, which I'm gonna wait for Ron or jacking off for that. If that's still here even. A lot of stuff in town is different. Oh, so Jareth, my little woolly owl that um, I got, uh, Mahitable was sleeping with him. She had her arm around him. And in the morning, I, I couldn't find him. I actually got up at 4. Because I slept from 4 to 8. And then I got up at midnight. And then I went back to bed. Uh, at, I woke back up at 4. I went back to bed at midnight. And I woke up at 4. But anyways, I couldn't find the owl anywhere. And uh, I found him under the bed. Now, sure, I was sleeping in that bed for four hours, and I don't know, maybe, maybe I jostled. I just don't know how he could have gotten all the way under the bed like that. He was, like, under the bed, on the other side of the bed. I don't even know how that could have happened, really. I mean, he's pretty light. Maybe I kicked him or something, but Mahitable wasn't moved at all. So, I mean, she's still covered in everything. So I kind of find it hard to believe but anyways, that was my experience. And there are two gentlemen calling me ma'am, staying at the Farnsworth house. The only other people that were staying there, staying all week. They're from Georgia. They've got a swanky new, brand new red Jeep and they're border patrol, or they were border, border patrol. So what about that? How about that? So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, all right, it's getting a little mucky here, so I'm going to shut this off, but I wanted to walk you through. There are, like, loads of casualties. I think the slaughter pen was at the bottom, too, the Valley of the Shadow of Death, which you can see off in the distance there, I think. Um, there are... Were, as far as I know, I was reading the monuments, and I got pictures of them, which I'll post, too. But it said, I think, Texas had 597 casualties. Now, casualties also counts wounded and missing and captured. Don't forget, that's not all dead. So, and you do have to consider, not so much in Gettysburg, but in the entire Civil War, more fellas died from disease than they did from mini balls, dysentery, tuberculosis, 
pneumonia. Mostly things to do with their bowels or their, uh, their lungs. I think something like two-thirds of them died from that. But anyways, and it said the Virginia, the Army of Potomac, um, and this is where they were chasing around Jeb Stewart. Remember, he never showed up in Gettysburg because he was, like, running around trying to make a name for himself and stuff like that. But anyways, this is where they were trying to catch up with him, too. See, I think this is the slaughter pen. I might be wrong, you know, honestly. Like I said, this is a first for me here. And and it might not even be. It might be the Kidori House. Actually, the Kidori House in town is now the Bafferton Inn, which I want to stay there too. And I think the Tilly Pierce House is now an inn as well. So I want to stay both. Now here's the horse trail. I'm getting off the walking trail now. And I started this video about halfway up it. I took it. It was hard going uphill. I was sweating. I'm going to change my clothes. There's a bunch of robins here. And, and now this is the horse trail. So, and I got a bunch of pictures all along here. Oh, anyways, it was something like 500 casualties for Virginia, too. I get sidetracked. I get, you know, I ramble on with tangents and everything else. But the Jenny Wade dolls are now made locally. They're actually rag dolls. They always had like a Jenny Wade. The only place that sold dolls in Gettysburg was like the Jenny Wade gift shop. Everything else in there is made in China. Like literally everything except for the dolls. I didn't get anything there. Um, but Mai's Noodles doesn't open till 3. And they have this green tea lychee drink too that I want to check it out. That used to be a diner forever, and now it's this noodle place. Uh, I want to check that out and maybe get some stuff to go. Um, hopefully, I'm going to uh, be going to the Eisenhower thing next, which is just another turn off of here from where my car is up in this picnic area up here. So... Um, yeah, uh, we'll see if I can upload this to, um, YouTube with my tablet. I'm sure I'll figure it out or Ron will help me. But as always, Gettysburg is always a good time and I'll talk to you later. Bye.